<laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Joseph. Uh, we're a stand-in, so I guess we will try to keep it short. Um, he mentioned we're from South Korea. Our company is Twinward, and we specialize in text analysis, and we generate a lot of products. So this is just one of the products that we just wanted to share with you guys. It's a Chrome extension. It's called Twinward Finder, and it's an advanced control F. And let me share with you how that works. This is just one of the Wikipedia articles we pulled into our demo page. And a lot of times when we do control F, um, we search for multiple keywords. So with our extension, um, say you want to search Italy, and this is a perfume, article on perfume, so France, and I don't know, Europe. So it's um, not, nothing special, right? Nothing special about this. So it's an article on perfume, but what if we wanted to find the country of origin? It's hard to realize what are we actually searching for. So if you just type in country of origin, it's not quite helpful to find all the occurrences of origin in the country. But when you hit enter, we use our um, text analysis, and we find the paragraphs relating to the, uh, to the query, which is country of origin. So here we see. Perfumes have been known to exist in some of the earliest. Um, if that, this screen's a bit squeezed, so that would actually be off to the right and you would be able to read. So you would jump through, and how the technology works, it looks for related words um, to your query. So if we switch over to this mode, we could see how the words country and origin have these related words. Another use case would be if you're a marketing uh, person and you wanted to, this is popular album from Room 5, and you wanted to find um, the revenue. So, but you're not quite sure, like dollars or what to search, so you type in revenue. It doesn't show up anywhere in the text, but if you hit enter, it searches for other words that are similar to revenue. So millions and sales and all those. So um, we welcome any questions. Yes? So it's basically Google search for a particular website, a particular web page. Yes, you can look at it that way. Yes, definitely. Yes. What What is your revenue stream? Um, our main, uh, like we said, our main uh, company is uh, API, and we uh, provide our API for text analysis. And this is just one of the products we are generating to raise awareness for our API. Uh, currently, there is no revenue stream from this. There is a sort of in-app purchase to uh, remove ads, but we are putting in ads right now, and we don't see a future of putting like really flashy ads. That's not cool. So to extrapolate on that, if your product is the, the text analyzer, yes. so you don't have any revenue stream from that, right? Yeah. Yes. And this is an application of that text analyzer. Exactly. Yes. Can you repeat the question? Um, the question was, our company is text analyzing text analyzer and this is just one of the applications and that's correct this is just one of the applications for technology how many languages that's a good question currently it the technology is language independent but we are focusing on english right now because it's a small team right uh, do you use a lot of uh, open source nlp technologies for the back end of this the back of, the, of this um is mainly um, our own proprietary and we're doing things um, uh, with vectors and all that, but it's not with any open source currently. And is the software trained in any particular use cases, or is it use case agnostic? Typically, when it comes to NLP, you know, a specific use case is uh, kind of better supported when you have enough data. Right. Um, currently, it's not trained on a specific set. It's just general corpuses. And um, but our API, if we have clients, they would give us set categories, and then from whatever their in vertical is, we can categorize their text. According to their vertical. Yes? Uh, what are the, the top three or four websites that you've seen your users use this on? Um, we have not uh, analyzed in depth yet. We have been collecting ever since we launched in August. Um, some of them have been to monitor long blogs looking for specific trigger words that they're looking for. So possibly they're some kind of monitoring system. Yeah. Is that it's our own application, yes. Thank you for asking that. Thank you so much for this opportunity. All right. Thank you.